Howdy folks, Tex Grabner here with Tex Grabner Outdoors. I hope you guys are ready for your Tex Grabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness because I've got a new bow that I'm going to be reviewing for you today, giving you a review on some new arrows that I've had for quite a while now but haven't got around to making a video dedicated to. And we're going to be talking about a badass component system that will save your arrows from heavy impact. Now I've got a new bow. And if anybody's been paying attention to the canon of this channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of my Martin Hunter in 75 pounds. But it has its disadvantages, and it also isn't going to last forever. So, I now have a Wingard Ibex here that I'm going to be giving you a review on. And so we'll get to that. I'm also going to be talking to you about the Serious Archery Products Apollo Shaft and the ethics component system for heavy impact. So I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this week's episode of Tex Grabner Outdoors as I review these stellar products for you that I 100% believe in. Now, if you guys want to show your support for Tex Grabner Outdoors in a way beyond simply watching the videos, you can go to TexGrabnerOutdoors.com, check out the Make It Weird sticker and the Make It Weird shirt, because I believed in inclusivity before it was cool. Of course, there is the reality check of the life ain't like the pornos, hunting ain't like the TV show shirt, and my personal favorite, the kill with stick shirt. Now, seeing as Sirius is the dog constellation, it is quite ironic that I have a kill with stick shirt and I'm using Sirius Archery product arrows. Now, with that all being said, while Three Rivers Archery currently doesn't stock Sirius Apollo arrow shafts or ethics components, you can still show your support for Tex Grabner Outdoors and get a discount on all your Trad Life supplies that they do sell by using the code of Tex Grabner in your checkout. It shows your support, gives you a shipping discount, and even if what I'm actually talking about in this video isn't sold by Three Rivers, well, the simple fact is you're going to need arrow wraps if you want them. You're going to need feathers no matter what. You're going to need field points. So don't forget to use the code of TexGrebner in your checkout at ThreeRiversArchery.com. So I hope that you guys are going to enjoy this week's episode of TexGrebner Outdoors because I'm pretty excited about some of this stuff. As you can see, this bow weighs in at about four pounds so when I pull it down to the 28 inch mark because it's an 80 pound draw it's gonna weigh out at about 84 pounds this is my Wingard Ibex it is a short and stout bow very maneuverable it is a three-piece takedown so it will travel well bamboo limb cores carbon backs carbon bellies you can see that I have the classic Howitt style striping from my Martin Hunter in the black and green G10, trophy burr limb bolts, and a sure grip. And the truth is, I always wanted an 80 pound Martin Mamba, but I could never get Martin to build me one. So I called up Trent and had him build me one because traveling with a 62 inch bow sucks. The arrows that I'm going to be using are Serious Archery Products 0.200 Spine Apollo. They're a 204 inner diameter, 5 inch shield cut feathers from Three Rivers with the reflective arrow wrap, a 210 grain ethics impact, and a 315 grain point. Now, anybody can be a badass at 10 yards. But, if you get close enough, your aim will be true enough. Now, I have a very rapid shot process, so it doesn't really matter to me that it's a heavy draw because I don't need to take a whole bunch of time to aim because it's going to be right or wrong within the first five seconds. That's just my opinion, but in my opinion, it's true. I love how the shortness of the limbs make it just as good as a clicker because I can feel it stacking into that final inch so that I know where I'm at in the draw cycle. Now just for the sake of a 
excruciating test of the ethics components out of a bow this heavy along with the durability of the serious Apollo shaft. Here at 10 yards I shot into a cinder block and you will be able to see the results because it's quite dramatic. Now I will bet that if I take this off this arrow is still going to be good, but I did actually make the ethics fail on that cinder block. So the ethic did what it was supposed to do. It saved the arrow. I just got done heating it up and taking it off. Arrow is perfectly fine. I can't complain about that. It is an absolutely awesome system. Now aside from the travel aspect of having a shorter bow, I wanted a shorter bow for the sake of being able to do steep downhill angles much easier, whether that is from a tree stand or at a 3D shoot shooting down. And so overall, I am super satisfied that the bow came in its marked weight. Trent gave me exactly what I asked for, and I got exactly what I paid for. Now that just looks beautiful that I finally got everything to balance. Check out that dappled shade lighting effect I got going on. So you may be asking yourself, Tex, you live at the poverty level economically. How the hell do you afford a $1,600 bow? Because this bow is expensive. There's no way around it. The answer is custom bowyers are normally a one or two man operation. So you're going to have between an eight month to 18 month turnaround time. So all you gotta do is put down your deposit, which is normally $100 to $200, and then you make payments as you go, even $50 at a time, and that way you can get yourself into a very expensive custom bow without having to pay a lump sum. I know, it's a G10 risered bow. Okay, I get it. I am as trad police as they come, but because I wanted to have a heavy, stout bow, that's why I went with a G10 riser rather than getting a burl, maple, and ebony riser, which don't get me wrong, this bow looks sharp. I don't have a brand loyalty when it comes to my arrows. I have my preferences. For instance, I like a 0.204 inner diameter because I want good thick walled arrows that are going to be heavy and that I can also use a lighted knock in. Now for my 100 pound draws, I like the Black Eagle Rampage, which is a 204 inner diameter. And I like those in the 150 spine. And the only reason why I'm not using a Black Eagle Rampage is because they don't have a 0.200 spine. Theirs goes 0.250 and then 0.150. I'm not here to upsell you on stuff you don't need. Under 60 pounds of draw weight, if you put an ethics on the end of a standard diameter shaft, it's going to be a pretty bulletproof arrow anyway. For me, the serious Apollo shafts with the all steel ethics components, they work. And that's all that I actually care about. If you're looking to get a traditional bow built in the over 70 pound draw range, you can add Wingard Archery to the list of bowyers willing to give you what you want. And I can say that it's worth the money. Of course, nobody can shoot a bow over 50 pounds with any degree of accuracy, as you can see here. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. We've got my friends over at ThreeRiversArchery.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement, you good cops out there. And thank you very much to those of you serving in the military, ready to die for freedom anywhere. And thanks for watching Tech Scrab near outdoors.